Hey guys, it's MK here, and I'm here for another episode of Earthbound. Yeah, that's a lot louder now. Actually, that's a lot louder. That is a lot louder. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is beautiful music to my ears. Yeah! One experience. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photograph genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles! Yeah! Wow, what a great photograph. He'll always bring back the fondest of memories. And he flies away like Mary Poppins. Or Henry Killinger. Whatever way you want to look at this. Anyway, I forgot something in the last three parts. So, doggy fight time. Yeah, runaway dog. Bash, bash its head in. No, I'm not a psychopath. Okay, that is too loud for me. That is, that's too loud for me. It's gonna kill me. Yeah, bite me. One damage. Yeah. Yeah, I win. Yeah, I forgot something. I forgot something I meant to show, but I didn't show it. <sighs> I feel really bad about that, guys. Yeah. Remember when I was talking about my theory and then I didn't talk about it because I didn't want to spoil anything? Well, now you guys can see it. Yeah, 32 damage. I just need a little more speed and I never have to fight one of those things again. Or at least, not one at a time, at least. So, crow! Crow! No! Go away! Go away, crow! Okay. I don't want the crow stealing my items, so... I wanted to run. So that I didn't lose my hamburgers. Yeah, 36 damage. And no, this is not just me attempting to grind. This is me legitimately forgetting about something I wanted to show. So climb back up here. And remember, this guy is gone now. See, he's not here. So we're gonna go inside. There he is. Hi. I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Okay. Ah, I can tell by the look on your face. You don't want to hang out, do you? That's alright. After all, we're not even related. I know you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. But... Wow, that is a terrible bed. No problem here. That's a big problem. There's a huge spring popping out of it. What? <sighs> yeah, this place is just torn apart by whatever he's been doing down here. Oh, there's a shovel right there. Why is the shovel over here if you've been digging all the way out here? It doesn't make any sense to me. So, MK, buddy, I found proof of a great treasure. A huge haul. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. Ooh, magic butterfly. I really don't think I needed that, but wait. That's not proof of a huge haul. That is a huge haul. I don't know what you're talking about. If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. Uh... 
You know, I kind of feel a little hungry. Should I go get something to eat? No. I don't want to do that to you guys. Oh, but I'm hungry. Oh. Oh, well. Okay, my theory is... Remember those craters I pointed out in the last episode, the episode about a while ago? Yeah, those craters? I believe that statue was what caused one of those craters. And I believe that Pokey found it before the cops arrived, hid it somewhere where he could, you know, before the cops arrived, and he accidentally hid it down here. No, not accidentally. Hit it down here because he didn't think Liar Exaggerate would find it down here. But, as you can see, he found it. Why Pokey would go into his house? Don't know. The cops probably wouldn't want to go in here because it's so disgusting and weird. No problem here. Okay. I don't know. That's just what I think. I think that Pokey did that. I think Pokey is... I think Pokey is at fault for everything. Yeah. Or maybe better yet, I could just blame Pokey's father for everything. And there's a stray dog. It doesn't see me. Just gonna... Uh, I guess it sees me now. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just basking in this music at this point. I miss it. I, I missed it so much. Crow! Uh, doggy and crow! Oh, That's a back attack. Oh well, doesn't matter because he didn't even use it. Basically what a back attack is, is it lets your opponent get a hit in before you get the chance to retaliate. So, usually you don't want that happening to you. But I really don't want to fight that crow. Yeah, I don't want to fight it. Hold on, I just want to check something. Uh, status. Okay. So, before I go fight Frank again, I think I'm going to, uh, uh, what am I going to do? Because I've got all my equipment. I think the main problem is I just wasn't... I don't know, I just wasn't expecting... Him to be so fast on the draw. So, I think I need to be a little more careful next time. Ah, <sighs> another snake! Oh! Oh yeah, yeah, they die instantly to me my presence scares them enough to kill them easily without a problem okay so first things first i need to get to the games the game center which should be down this way past the pizza place yeah, right here. Oh! That's interesting. There's no sharks out right now. There's no sharks in here either. Except that guy. Uh. Um. 
For Germany! No, wait. For Germany! I'm Frank. You are... Come on, can't you at least say your name? Yeah. Frank attacked. Bash his head in. Brandished a knife. Okay. Now... Uh... This is where I don't like it, because I don't know if he's going to attack next time, or... Yeah, I really just want to be careful. Because I'm at such a low health area right now, that I... Uh... Okay, my gust went down, I, my... I don't really care at this point. My guts can go down as much as they want. If he's just gonna do that, I don't really care. No, I can't just miss. I have to hit. Only 20 that time? Really? Okay, I need to heal now. Oh, okay. Okay. That's not good, because now I have to fight Frank Bot 2.0, I guess. Fail proof Frank can't be beaten. Puff, puff, puff. This is Frankie Stein Mark II. So I need to heal instantly. What? Um, no. Recover. Life up. Life up. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to defend this. Yeah. Gonna bash it. This is basically the strategy. Attack, defend, attack, defend, attack, defend. Because what this thing does is every other turn it can't perform an action and needs to, you know, generate that puff of smoke or steam, whatever, yeah, steam. So, I always attack on the steam attack, and guard on the actual attack. Because it reduces the damage that I take, and it conserves my healing items. Well, it doesn't do that if I keep missing. Oh, holy crap. Uh, PSI, PSI. Life up. That was a lot of damage. Holy crap! <sighs> I don't like the position I'm in. Because... That... That tear into you attack seems like it would do a lot if I wasn't guarding. And I do not want to die on this. <sighs> I, 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 I don't... I, I, I just... <sighs> I'm out of PSI. Second hamburger, go! Guard. Through punch. Yeah, yeah. Go. Come on. Bash. 18 damage. Uh, you know what? I think I'll survive if I just bash him one more time. Yeah. Uh, gained 76. Level is now 6. Guts went up by one, luck went up by one, maximum HP by two, maximum PP by one. Well, my guts went up, so that's good, but my HP didn't go up by much. This is my first pr my first defeat. Failproof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there.